Hey, what's up, universe? It is 7.26 p.m. Central Time on Wednesday, August 30th, 2023. I just ran across a video where the FBI and Cybersecurity and Infrastructure Security Agency, or the CISA, announced that they have dismantled the Quackbot or the QBot infrastructure, which is responsible for a large amount of ransomware that has plagued the internet. I'm going to share with you the video that I ran across along with some of the uh, information that's been released on the web. We're here today to announce the most significant technological and financial operation ever led by the Department of Justice against a botnet. The botnet in question is one of the most notorious and pernicious botnets in the world. It's known as Quackbot. Quackbot is one of the most successful persistent and notorious botnets in the globe. Every year, Quackpot infects hundreds of thousands of computers worldwide. It was first detected in 2008 and has been repeatedly updated over the years. And in terms of the infections, just this past year alone, we determined that Quackpot had infected over 700,000 different victim computers. These computers were controlled by the Quackpot administrator using a series of servers also throughout the world. The Quackbot administrator, the cyber criminal organization, sold access to the infected computers to cyber gangs who used that access to perpetrate ransomware attacks and other cyber-enabled financial crime. Just during the last 18 months, we've collected evidence that Quackbot has been responsible for approximately 40 different ransomware attacks. And just in those past 18 months, these ransomware attacks have cost businesses and government entities approximately $58 million in losses. As you can imagine, this is just for an 18-month period. And this quackpot has been around since at least 2008. So you can imagine that the losses have been many millions more throughout the life of the quackpot. But today, all of that ends. During a trailblazing operation over the past three days, Justice Department prosecutors, agents with the FBI, and our international partners have taken control of and dismantled Quackbot. So I found this language in this news article um, from Info Security Magazine. Uh, interesting. It's titled FBI led Operation Duck Hunt shuts down Quackbot malware. So let's go ahead and scroll down here. So I found this statement by Roger Grimes a little bit interesting, um, where it says, this sort of proactive cleanup used to be rare and often contested even by many cybersecurity experts. If not done correctly, the removal could, could go badly wrong. There have been many instances before the, before the FBI got involved where well-meaning people uh, trying to do proactive cleanup made the situation worse. Now I found that interesting because if we go over to the PDF, right, which was linked off of this right here, right, off of the uh, CISA.gov and the disruption quack bot, right, infrastructure, and it says download, you know, here's the identification disruption. Okay, so that's that PDF right here. Well, one of the things in this PDF is it not only tells you the Windows registry keys that were used as an indicator of compromise and a list of IP addresses that have been associated with it. Uh, it says right here, CISA and FBI recommend network defenders apply the following mitigations to resist the like to reduce the likelihood of Quackbot related activity and promote identification of Quackbot induced ransomware and malware infections. And then over here, we have this in, we have this statement where it's like this sort of product of cleaning up used to be rare and often contested even by many cybersecurity effort, experts. If not done correctly, the removal could go badly wrong. There have been many instances before the FBI got involved where well-meaning people trying to do proactive cleanup made the situation worse. 
I don't know, again, call me skeptical, but it sounds like there could be a potential where if there's information being provided for those in charge of security infrastructure and to mitigate ransomware as, spe as put forth in the, in the PDF to reduce the likelihood of Quackbot related activity and promote identification of Quackbot induced ransomware and malware infections where this could go quote unquote badly wrong. And I'm gonna just end it that all of this is alleged, it's all speculation, it's all conjecture, it's all just fun and games in my mind. It's all just thoughts that I had. And I do wanna add that as a curious note, if you all haven't seen Mr. Robot, there is a scene or a part in that show where uh, banks get bricked by malware. Uh, the whole show is around money and I would highly suggest you watch it if you haven't seen it. It's a really, really good show. Uh, but the scene that comes to my mind is this one. side if you want to watch this clip you know, the full clip on YouTube you can watch it right here it's called how to rob a bank and this channel appears to be the only channel that is able to have mystery robot content uploaded uh, at least from my experience when I've tried to upload mr. robot material it always gets flagged uh, and viewers in the United States are unable to view it uh, so I just find that a little peculiar as well uh, all right, there you go. Love you guys. Bye.